Hello guys and gals, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm Solo and today we're gonna get back into tutorials. Today we're taking a stab at building a mob farm. But before we start, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Smoking Koala. His mob farm provided a lot of inspiration for this one. If you haven't seen his video, you can click on the thumbnail in the bottom corner of the screen or wait until the end when the thumbnail comes back. Anyways, just last week I got to thinking about mob farms and started building one. I decided to search YouTube to see what other people had already done and the closest design was the one by the Smoking Koala. I had the square and spawn pads very similar to his, but didn't want to continue with something that was the exact same, so it got me to thinking. His farm and many others are great, efficient, and fast, but they do use a lot of redstone along the outside, several dispensers, and that can all get a bit hectic and messy looking. I thought water flows down, why not take advantage, and here we are with the resource-friendly mob farm, or my solo bucket mob farm. All of your water comes from a central point at the top of your farm and gravity does the work. The water reaches each level long enough to push the mobs, and while you will need several blocks, you won't need too much redstone. You'll just need enough for a hopper clock, a delay timer, also by the smoking koala, and an optional but recommended standby switch. Until we get to the top, you won't need any redstone, so I'll just show you how to build the layers and let you get to work. To start, you'll need a 23 by 23 square. Inside of that, you'll need four identical triangles pointing towards the center, with the widest side reaching 15 blocks. Now you can build up a few more blocks on the shell. The second level center block can be removed on each side for water flow, and the third level, which I've used brown clay for, will be the level of your next spawn layer. These will be the same as your first level's pads, but with one block missing on a single corner of each platform and a sign placed just one block above as shown on your screen. Water behaves strangely in Minecraft, so this keeps things in working order. You can do this on either side, alternate sides, it doesn't matter, and now would be a good time to break the block one spot over from the sign you just placed. Continue this for your desired amount of layers. In this tutorial, I'm using a total of four. Also note that it should be easier to connect the water passages as you go, so break the blocks shown on the screen to connect the passages and place blocks on the outside to keep the water in. You should also go underneath your farm at some point and build a couple blocks down around the X on the bottom to keep light levels low enough on the edges of your first level. Now back at the top, you will make a ceiling to keep light out, place your dispenser in the center facing upwards, and build water canals from the center of your farm to the holes on all four sides. You'll also need to make sure to cover the water stream a bit before it reaches the opening to avoid lighting the inside. Now for the redstone, you'll need a hopper clock leading into your delay system, which is also from the Smoking Koala's video. From there, you can run a short line of redstone into the block just below your dispenser and put the water bucket inside. In this example, I have 22 items in the hopper clock. You can also install a switch directed to a hopper on the clock to pause its functionality, and a button running into the redstone line as a way to indefinitely fill the farm with water when you have it paused. This will cover all the pads with water and keep mobs from spawning and lagging at your world if you're trying to do something. Other than a few small details, you should be ready to go, so make sure to set the repeaters for your delay on their fourth ticks. Don't forget to build your hopper pad down below to catch drops, light up the area, or half slab it, and build it low enough to kill them unless you have a different method with your mobs. Once again, a big shout out to the Smoking Koala for his compact and efficient spawn pad design. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you have a heart, subscribe for future content, with the vast majority of it being Minecraft related. But that is all I have for today. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to say hi, do so in the comment section below, and I will do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. So until next time, I'm Solo Waffle, hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>